Liberation, freedom, brave tigers. These are the words they have heard since they were little. They have heard various stories in public about people who claim to be suppressing them. When beautiful dreams enter their minds, they are relieved of the bitter pains of the present life in which they live. Dreams are always able to dilute the pain of the present. But bitter truth is, with those dreams, they died like insects dying in the flames of an oil lamp. Attempting knowing the truth is more important than slumbering with deceived messages. That the way anyone can get an accurate assessment of the ideology they represent. Some of the videos featured in this documentary are disturbing. But to see the truth you have to see these events. The world must see these events. All videos included in this documentary are videos given to us by former members of the LTTE to give the real pictures of their organization to the world. We have decided to disseminate these videos after verifying the authenticity of them through experts. What is lesson learned from the path to liberation that began in 1975 with the killing of a politician who represented the Tamil community? That is, the truth written in blood is more powerful than the lies inked and filled the pages of newspapers. Wait, wait. கொம்பிளா <laughs> <laughs> We present here these powerful pieces of evidence of the true picture of the quest for liberation and freedom of Tamil tigers. We believe that the world should see these pieces of evidence. There is no future by undermining these shocking events which caused to eliminate Tamil community within. Young people who shed crocodile tears using social media and various other tools should see this. These are life experiences of the thousands of child soldiers. After weeks of arms training, the abducted kids were offered guns and cyanide capsules to hang around their necks. Adele is a woman from the West responsible for hanging thousands of those suicidal capsules on those innocent flowers of generation. Her will to freedom is nothing but producing human bombs and eliminating young men and women. Is there anybody who would want to produce these criminals before the International Criminal Court? Is there any rights activist worked for global bodies such as the United Nations would dare to initiate resolution against these criminals? These children were arbitrarily used for military operations. Some child soldiers were asked to make bombs. These heartbreaking pieces of evidence are proving that these children were even used to make bombs banned by international law. The LTTE launched a fake program to cover up child abductions. The families of the abducted children were summoned together and videotaped to show that they had voluntarily handed over their children to the LTTE. This notorious drama occurred decades to bully the international community and inspire the funders. The fact is none of the Tamil parents living in the north or east or elsewhere in Sri Lanka agreed for their children to be the part of the LTTE. They all wanted to educate their children and give them a bright future. Unfortunately, this real tragedy was not bothered most of those who preached and advocated fundamentals of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. They talked about genocide, war crimes, and ethnic cleansing without any independently verified data. 
following the destruction of the Mullikaval Tamil Genocide Memorial Monument at the University of Jaffna. They distorted the truth by using hyperbolical arguments while systematically ignoring the bitter life of the people under terrorist clutches. LTTE not only abducted children but also animals kept in each family. Thousands of these child soldiers in the north and east were shocked by experiencing the fate of the dogs and goats abducted by LTTE cadres from their homes. These extraordinary videos revealing to the world the reality of what those innocent animals had to face. In the same way that children who were supposed to be in the shadow of their parents were abducted and their lives made miserably, the innocent animals kept in their homes also fell victim to the clutches of the terrorists and had to pay with their lives. This is the real situation faced by thousands of dogs after they were captured by the LTTE. We will not disclose the locations where these videos were recorded to ensure the safety of sources provided us these eye-opening pieces of evidence. This video shows how the TNT explosive device is attached to the dog's abdomen and lungs and they are blown out alive. The way dogs were struggling to survive for a few seconds even after the explosion, exposing the cruelty of the Tamil Tigers. This is how the LTTE members used dogs to measure the weight and speed required to detonate landmines. What are the lessons to be learned from this vicious act of the LTTE cadres who tied these innocent creatures' legs and hung on a tree, changed speed and lowered them? Do you think this is the way to freedom? This is a series of videos related to another obscene act committed by LTTE members. Here is how the goats have used for live shooting training. This is the highest level of inhumanity. Shouldn't the world know this truth? Shouldn't Tamils living abroad and their children see this truth? They need to know this true history instead of the false history they have been taught. We have only one pure message. Our message is nothing but the truth prevailed on the ground. This truth will last forever. That truth, like the sun and the moon, will live on this earth forever. This is the truth that must be seen by people and children who are desperate for lies. This is the truth behind dare. Truth behind dare. Do they know who you are? Do they know the fate of your parents? Do they value your life more than a cyanide capsule? O oh, thy dreams, O oh, thy delusion, O oh, thy sorrow, O oh, thy truth, O oh, thy future, O oh, thy life as a child soldier. This brutal terrorism, which claimed the lives of hundreds of thousands not only in Sri Lanka but also in India, came to an end in May 2009. But some of those who benefited from terrorism are still living with bloodlust. In Sri Lanka, the government with public support saved hundreds of thousands of unarmed civilians from the clutches of terrorists. Marking a new chapter in human civilization, Sri Lanka rescued nearly 300,000 unarmed civilians, including children and women, enslaved by terrorists for decades. It is the sublime of humanity proven by action. Our wish is loud and clear. The wish of all people in this beautiful Sri Lanka is that such a tragic past ended about 11 years ago should never happen again on earth. What we have to tell the world. Let us see this truth.
Let us act together without falling into the schemes of hypocrites plotting to ruin our people and our children while misleading the international community. Let us say, no to lies in the same way we told against terrorism and violence. Join us to secure hard-earned freedom together.